Imagine you're walking by the Little Miami River in Ohio, enjoying a nice October afternoon, when all of a sudden you hear a croak. In a flash, three frog-like creatures appear and they look threatened. It might be time to hightail it out of there, for you, my friend, just ran across Shanahook. Shanahook. Shanahook can be found along the Little Miami River located in Loveland, Ohio. These beastie demons weigh in at 25 kilograms or 55 pounds and have a height of 1.2 meters or 3 feet 11 inches. Legends about these beasties go back centuries. In the late 17th century, the native Twaitwee people warned French settlers about the river demon named Shanahook. Its skin was dark and bumpy, green or blue in color. It was wrinkled, yet slimy in appearance. It had both the features of a frog and man, minus a nose or any hair. The Shanahook guarded the river's banks, chasing away anyone that stumbled into its territory. The creature was thought to be immortal and would go back into the cool waters of the Little Miami River if injured. It is important to note that the Loveland Frogman known as Love is related to Shanahook, but is not the same type of beastie. Shanahook is an ancient beastie, while Love, the Frogman, is an old caster that was cursed, his curse being to resemble a frog and not have the ability to cast magic against any beastie. Modern sightings have taken place since the 1920s, but the most famous one is from 1955. A traveling businessman was passing through Loveland, Ohio when he saw something on the road. It was three human-shaped creatures, but as he approached he noticed they had enormous eyes and mouths that resembled a frog. The three figures disappeared as the man left in a hurry. Another famous sighting took place in 1972 when officers Ray Shockey and Mark Matthews came across what they thought was an injured animal while on patrol. When they approached it, the creature jumped up and ran away. Both men got a good look at the creature from the car's headlights and described it as about 3-5 to five feet tall with leathery skin and the face of a frog. Reports and sightings have poured in over the years and thankfully no one has gotten hurt. It's well known that this beastie is very territorial. Shanahook have been known to scare away people that try to find them. One tale talks about a swimmer that was pulled underwater by a mysterious force only to be let go just as quickly. My advice to you, my fellow casters, is be wary when hunting this beastie. It is known to travel in packs, and the Shanahook does have a primitive hierarchy. Even though they are on the smaller side, this beastie demon is not to be underestimated, unless you are the one that wants to be hunted.